A social experiment is gaining traction online. This one takes on Islamophobia by having a blindfolded Muslim man stand at the corner of Young and Dundas asking strangers to hug him. I'm joined by Asumi J in Ottawa as well as Omar Albash. Now, both of you have produced similar types of videos. I'm wondering, Omar, if we can start with you. Tell me, why do you think it was necessary to produce such a video? Well, um, I've said this before in many interviews. There were speculations going around that time that the perpetrator of the Ottawa shooting was a Muslim or linked to Islam. So I wanted to, you know, show Canadians that you know, even though there was this um, event that happened, it doesn't change the the public's opinion or, or the civilian's opinion. And uh, despite what media might have said or might have tried to say. Now, Asumi, your your video was was incredibly emotional. Now, tell me about how long you were actually shooting and and, and sort of the process for people coming up and, and and hugging this man. So we were shooting the video for about half an hour. It was minus 25 degrees that day, so it was pretty cold. Uh, we tried to do it quick, and um, at the beginning, people were hesitant to approach. They saw a man with a beard just uh, blindfolded, and they weren't uh, very keen on approaching, but then, like the bystander effect, they're always waiting for someone else to initiate, and as soon as they saw others coming up to uh, Mustafa, the actor, everyone began coming up, hugging, giving him words of encouragement and support, taking pictures, and uh, to the point that even after he left, uh, and he was on the bus going home, two girls has, have seen his picture on the internet, and um, they asked if he was the man who was standing in Dundas Square, and when he let them know that it was him, they started hugging him and apologizing for the things that uh, he might have gone through because of Islamophobia, and they let him know that uh, they have, he has their full support. So tell me, what is it like today to be a young Muslim? Why do you think that there's this need for this video? What's it like for, for each of you? Uh, personally, um, I see that although there, we, you know, the videos that uh, Asumi and I, um, the two different videos that we produced, this shows the tolerance of Muslims across, uh, or Muslims in Canada. I believe that there's also a lot of intolerance and Islamophobia that is spreading around um, most recent events. Um, yesterday, the shooting that happened uh, where three Muslims um, were, were murdered in cold blood. You're talking about in North Carolina, where yes, three, Carolina. Three, three young individuals. Now, uh, let's talk about that for a little bit, because originally we thought it was uh, a dispute over parking. It's now coming to light that uh, this individual, the culprit, who is non-Muslim, may have had uh, shared some messages of hate on Facebook. Do right. you think, Asumi, that this would have played out differently in the media had the culprit been Muslim instead of uh, a non-Muslim? Yes, for sure. Uh, the story would have uh, had more coverage. Um, they would have blamed it on Islam and not the individual, as we have seen with the Just We Charlie campaign, where uh, such news stations like CNN and Fox News have made tweets saying that it was a Muslim terrorist or this is the actions of Islamic terrorism. Whereas when they covered the story for what has happened the other day at right. Chapel Hill, they uh, merely said it was an individual or just a man. They did not blame it on his religion or his ethnicity. Okay, so let, I want to. This is we've seen a couple of these videos before. I want to play you a clip from the um, York University uh, president for the Muslim Students Association to see about. He's talking about the, the the benefit of these sort of videos. Take a listen to this. I think that there are a few people you know that might see this video and be like, okay, you know, this is a good example of how Canadians love Muslims, right? But I I think that these videos for that reason are very beneficial and they relay a lot of positivity, but I don't know if they're the perfect example of what would be considered a long-term solution to um, rid d discrimination or Islamophobia. So, Asumi, hearing that, what's the purpose of these sort of videos? What do you hope comes of it? 
Well, these sort of videos is to gain attention, to spread awareness. For example, the video that we did, it's to show non-Muslims how we are made to feel in our own countries. We are made to feel as if we're outsiders, as if we're not welcome. And again, we're trying to get people to think for themselves. We don't want people to uh, believe in these uh, preconceived notions that have been created. We want them to go and actually learn about Islam if they're really keen on wanting to know what um, Islam teaches, we want them to go think for themselves, learn for themselves, instead of listening to man's word or believing everything they see in the media. And Omar, what do you think? Because we did see so many people going up to the actor and hugging him and talking to him. Does that uh, show you that maybe the majority of Canadians are accepting and that it's a vocal minority? Well, um, like I agree with um, what what the president of York said, um, or the president of the MSA said, that yeah, al although it's showing peace in the videos and it was heartwarming or whatever, but it's not really a long-term solution. Like me, when I did the social experiment in Ottawa, it was simply a social experiment. I had, I did not really expect, you know, um, uh, Canadians to be tolerant to the extent that they were tolerant. Um, so it is a social experiment. It's, it's. Uh, we're not saying this is a long-term plan. Obviously, you know, the syst the whole system needs to be changed. Uh, people's ideologies need to be changed. A lot of change needs to happen for a long-term solution. All right, Omar Albash, thank you very much. Assumi Jay, thank you for your time today. Thank you for having me. Thank you.